Welcome back friends. Today I'm going to be going through how I created this crazy crooked text effect called Stack Neon. So stay tuned. I'm going to start off with a Facebook post. Now this is the post that I normally use. It is a file size of 940 pixels by 788 pixels. And I'm going to search for an app called Type Lettering. So I'll go to my apps and you'll find the apps on the left hand panel. Now I am using the new editor um, for this design, um, but you'll find the apps in the same area that it always is. It'll be on your left panel. And if you just go all the way down, you'll find it right here. So here is apps and I'm just going to click this and I'm going to in the search bar type um, search for a, an app called uh, type lettering. And here it is right here, type lettering. Now, this is what it looks like, type lettering, the type lettering app. So you can just click it. And then when you get in here, you'll get a whole bunch of really cool options on different things that you can do with text. Um, and you can go through and look and try all of these out. They're super, super cool. Uh, I'm not a fan of this extrude or long shadow text. I think the other app called Type Extrude works a lot better. But this is what we're going to do today. It's this funky crooked text effect. So I'm going to click on this and they call it stacked neon and they've got um, uh, an area here where you can type in your own text. So I'll replace that text that's in there already. And I'll, I have my all caps on and I'm just going to type in crazy crooked text effect. Now it's all on one line. So when I come down here, this is what I'm going to see. Um, so you have to decide whether you want it to be on separate lines or you want it to be all on one line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate it. So I'll say crazy crooked and then I'll press enter text effect and I'm going to add stacked neon because that's what it is. It's called stacked neon. And so if we go down, we'll see that we have an option for font and you can uh, click on this arrow here and you'll get a drop down for different types of fonts that you can use, uh, which makes this really, really super cool. So um, I'm going to try maybe this one. It's called Alpha Slab 123. Now this is the first time that I'm trying it. So um, it's new to me as it is going to be to you. And this is what it, the preview looks like. But let's go back up because so here was our main text. I've selected a font and now we also have an option as to whether we want the text to appear center, if we want it left aligned, or if we want it right aligned. I'm going to keep it at center because I think that really looks super cool. And we also have the option to determine the line height. So if you feel that the spacing in between the sentences is too tight, we can make it um, wider. We can increase the line height a little bit and spread it out a little bit like that. So um, that's great too if you feel that the lines are too tight together. So I'll just leave it at that, uh, which is two. And now we also have the option to select colors. And we can see that um, we have a whole bunch of different colors. This white represents the background color of the uh, text effect. So you can change the background color to any color that you want. If we want, we can change that to uh, neon green. And we then have the uh, 
front facing color, which is that yellow color, we can change that to anything that we like too. But I'm going to leave it at yellow. And then we have the option to change the other colors as well. And this black um, color picker at the end is actually just the outline of the um, letters. So you're welcome to change that. You can change it to the same color as the background color if you like, or you can leave it at black. So I'm going to leave it the way it is right here, and I'm going to add this to my design. And here it is right here. And now we can make it a little bit larger like that. And um, now when we click out of the type lettering app, we'll still get the option to edit this. And when we select edit, it's going to open up that type lettering app again. So this is like a text effect. It's still a text box per se. If you want to add shadows um, to this text effect, then what you'll need to do is you'll need to convert this to an image. Now don't leave just yet because I've got another tip for you. So with this text box, we can't really apply any extra features like shadows and such, but there is this really cool app in here that I just discovered from a friend. So if we go to apps and we search for image and there is an app called design to image and what it does is it takes your design on your workspace and automatically converts it to an image so let's select that and here it is right here so this avoids that whole thing of having to download your image and then upload it back into canva so it's a little bit of a time saver so over here we're going to say convert to image and in here we have the option to choose, okay, what type of file do you want to convert it to? You want to convert it to a PNG or a JPEG. So we're going to leave it at PNG and we're also going to tick off transparent background because we're going to want to add a shadow to this uh, text box. So, and I'll just say export. Okay, so here is our, the preview of our image. And we also have the option to add a frame to our design. So you can put this text in the frame of a dragon, in the frame of a clover, a tulip, a flower. These are the options. Now, keep in mind, this isn't really going to work well for text. It might if it was a, a photo of something. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm going to click on the preview, which will place that on my workspace. Okay, and here it is. So I'm just going to uh, add a page and I'm going to move this over here. <clears throat> and now um, this is an actual image. So when I go to edit, I'll now get my right side panel opening up where I have the option to apply Magic Studio effects or if I want, I can apply shadows and that's what I want to do. I want to apply a shadow. So um, I've clicked on shadows and now um, we have the option for glow, drop, outline. So I'm going to click on drop and that will create this little drop shadow there. And of course with the shadow we have the option to select the blur amount, the angle of the shadow, the distance of the shadow and the intensity of the shadow. Okay, so I'll just leave it like that and I'll leave the color to black as well. And that, my friends, is pretty much it on how you create a crazy crooked text effect. I am going to be applying some more effects to this if you want to stick around. I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. I have opened up my YouTube memberships where you can get access to a private group and about 40 tutorials, which will teach you the basics of Canva fundamentals. 
and also get you access to a, a very small private Facebook group where you can get personal feedback and help on your designs. If you're interested, click on my profile and click the join button and see the different membership options. So stick around as I apply a little bit more effects to this design.